Hi everyone. Today's reading is about if you're haunted. Are you haunted? So, well, this is the answer. The, the card fell off the deck before I even asked the question. So the answer is yes, you are haunted. Temperance card. And again, there's a hexagram in the middle of the card, my favorite uh, sacred geometry shape, or one of my favorite sacred geometry shape, shape. And it's in the Ring of Solomon that I have here. I want to tell you something really interesting. The Ring of Solomon, King Solomon used this ring to control demons, jinns, and ifrits. If you want to know who are jinns and ifrits, go watch my other episode on this channel about jinns and ifrits. But Solomon, he had a ring and it used to allow him to control jinns and ifrits. And this question, this reading is about if you're haunted haunted by spirits, by ghosts, by demons. So you are. But the hexagram here is telling me that you have the power to control these demons. You have the power to control these spirits. Same way out. That's why you use this ring all the time. Because this shape, the hexagram, and this shape you see it across this hermetic deck, you see it everywhere, is a sacred shape that represents a portal between the physical world and the spirit world. Now, we have the moon. This is to conquer, this is telling me that you need to conquer all of your fears, the fears that you have of spirits, ghosts, and demons. So now you are haunted. And that can be a very, very scary experience because I went through that myself. I know how it feels. So there's a lot of fear that's going on with you. But this card wants you to know that you can control that fear. You can control those ghosts. You can control those spirits. You can even ask them to help you and protect you. So you're going to love it. Once you're going to learn how to control this fear and don't run away from it. Don't run away from it. You're haunted. These spirits are there for you. Maybe they're your ancestors. Maybe they can be spirits that were living in your room or in, or in your house way before you came there. Maybe they're, they, they love you. Maybe they're, they care for you. They want to help you. But remember that as long as you start approaching this fear from a positive standpoint, you can control and you can use these entities to your own advantage. Again, we have abundant success. This card is telling me that you're gonna succeed. This is just temporary, this fear that you have, you're always haunted, you go back home, you're scared, you don't know who's there, you hear clicks, you hear knocks, you hear noises. You're, you're just haunted, basically, because that's the meaning of, of being haunted, but you're gonna succeed into connecting with these demons and we have the moon card here again. This goes all the way back to ancient Egypt. Even the Egyptians used to know how to control these demons. We have Anubis. He's the god of the underworld. He's a demon himself. We have Anubis here, one of my favorite Egyptian gods. And finally, the chariot. It's gonna get you going. It's gonna get you moving. It's gonna help you unlock all of your gifts, all of your magic, all of your power. So this haunting is the key to unlocking your power. You just have to approach it. You have to get close to it. Don't be scared of it. And then it's gonna get you moving. It's gonna make you, well, the princess or the prince that you are.